lying in the trash bin. Thank you! Jordy, put that thing away! You don't know where that's been! First what off... Was that? Why was that in the trash bin? Go ahead, type. I was, about to say, I was hungry! First off, that is completely demoralizing to Seelie. She is precious and not trash. Second off, yeah, welcome to Sonic Unleashed, Seelie. I'm, uh, you know, it's kind of funny. Like, I we talked about how I really want you to be involved in more Sonic stuff. I'm a little annoyed that it's with the Werehog that your first taste of Unleashed comes in. But hey, look, it's Tails. Well, at least there's Tails. Yep. I mean, uh, okay, Tails granted. With dealing, as ever. I mean, granted, Chaos was one thing, but being, uh, being surrounded by a whole bunch of these weird... Dark Gaia thingies. Yeah, I can understand Tanda being a little more intimidated by them, but yeah. Welcome to the Werehog uh, stages. Quick, yeah, let's go we're... after him, as I use a voice that Jordan really hates. Oh, no, you... it's, it's I fine. don't hate it anymore. No okay. I got so used to the... it. So welcome to the Werehog stages. Uh, to catch see the episode, I don't think uh, she's ever seen the Werehog yet. This is something that was introduced in Sonic Unleashed due to a uh, horrible experiment that Eggman did in trying to split the Earth in twine. We'll learn more about why later. Uh, eh, Sonic the Werehog is basically Sega's answer to God of War and your typical beat em up series. <laughs> because uh, the let's let's basically as far as I, for, as I understand, they primarily added the Werehog for two reasons. The first one being what Logan just said, basically to, to a ape God of War, and secondly. I guess in some regard, you could say that Sega were a little unsure if, you know, the, tip, the uh, speed-only stuff would really hold the game, people hold people's attention toward the game for very long. Because, like, when you take the whole daytime level into account, they could go by pretty quickly. Yeah. Like, it's not a minute if you're fast enough. Oh, so... I, I, I do recognize this music. Oh, yeah, this track in uh, particular, it's like... I guess we can go ahead and talk about that, one of the more infamous things about the Werehog. Each level has its own, like, really jazzy remix of the main theme. And, well, not the main theme. Each re each level has their own, like, really jazzy song to accompany it, and it's all really good stuff. However, the second you go into a battle, and I mean any battle, it's replaced with this, like, this really lively, frantic jazz piece, which by itself is perfectly fine. People despise it because of how, rip it, uh, how often they hear it. Yeah, that's that's the that's, that's the primary problem here. Like by itself, it's great. By but it's just it's one of those things where there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I don't hate it. It's just there is one song. Please add another song, Sega. You don't even have to do that. Like what I would have personally have done, like. We, you, you, you guys could already hear, like, the tip, the, the, the theme to, for the stage in itself, like, right now. What they could have done is, like, once you enter into a battle, add in, add in some additional instruments or just, or change, change some of them to sound a little more hard, a little more hardcore. Yeah, like, you kind know, a little, little, little extra rock. Right. Which, I mean, or, I'll be honest, that's kind of like an issue I've always had with RPGs. And, I mean, then there's this game that kind of goes to the similar RPG formula when you're in a battle, the music changes, and it's like... I don't know. They, I, I can only deal with it for so long before it starts getting repetitive. Uh, I, I've seen hype music sometimes. I like how Kingdom Hearts did it, where each world still had its own unique battle theme. Which, yeah, that 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 is fine. I mean, it, that's just that's just my suggestion on how I would have changed the Werehog, um, well, music implementation. But um, otherwise, yeah, just gonna get right to the point. Like, your mileage will vary with the Werehog stuff. And per, me personally speaking, I. Making it a God of War clone wouldn't have been my first choice, but by itself, it's okay. The only problem is that the levels di the levels go on for way too long, and just makes the whole gimmick overstay its welcome. Yeah, and it's the weird thing when it comes to, like, because just comparing it between the HD version and the Wii version, in both versions, the Werehog overstays its welcome, but it's in different fashions. In the HD version, there's, like... Well, actually, I'll start with the Wii version. In the Wii version, there's they're much shorter... But they have more of them, whereas in the HD version, there's not as many, but they last way too long. Also, that is a, a, also as ahead. a detriment to the Wii version, I just remembered, uh, your move pool is a lot more limited than it is here. Oh yeah, no, because oh, yeah, because as you're seeing, the main uh, gimmick of on the, of uh, Werehogs is uh, gameplay is combat based. What the hell did I just try to say? Combo based combat. Uh, combat <laughs> I was about based. To say. I'll combat say combat-based combat. It's like, well, can't quite imagine any other way they do it, but... I mean, so yeah. I, I, I mean combat-based action. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh... Oh, yeah, by the way, Celie, you like the design of these new eight bonds? Maybe. Oh, geez. Well, actually, I, I'm trying to remember, like, how... 
like any kind of Eggman robots she might have had exposure to. Like, bad eggs go without saying. She, I don't know if she's seen the eggplants from, like, Heroes, which are kind of my preferred version of, like, soldiers next Ooh, to the silly. eggplants. And it looks like that's, and it looks like that Sonic Project Hero thing is going to be using those versions. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. Uh, so, Celie, where did you die? Uh, Celie, where did you, where did you say you had heard this battle theme from? Um, it is in a machinima. I was in. Hey, ah, okay, cool. Right. I mean, yeah. It's, again, it's a pretty noteworthy battle theme from Sonic Unleashed, as in the only. Anyway, so can I use my switches? Yeah. So, as you're gonna, and yeah, the other thing is you're seeing is that. I guess even even preceding things like Sonic Boom, uh, Werehog stages are based around a lot more slower precision platforming as opposed to all the speed and like chaos yeah. of light well, and day time. Quest, well, Rats. on the rare instances, they do let you do the slower precise yeah. platforming, which that's honestly, it, it might be tied to like that theory James and uh, Jordan were talking about, but that's something that I personally would think the Werehog, I feel like the Werehog would be a lot more forgivable if the gameplay was less a God of War ripoff and more along the lines of, say, a 3D Rice Star. I mean, yeah, I could see that. And I'd also say that the whole platforming during these sections would be better if, you know, it actually handled better. Because as is, it's a little on the stiff side. Yeah. It can be, especially when we're going to get to it up ahead. Because, yeah, the get level's not over yet. Uh, where, it's, especially when they have me working around tight ropes, I do not care for also, yeah. as you just saw, uh, when I fill up my Unleashed Gauge in the lower left there, I can basically get into a serious, like, deal a butt-ton of damage really quickly mode. And the uh, little egg thingies, I don't know what the, They look like eggs to me. They're like dragon eggs from Spyro. Uh, those Maybe. dragon egg thingies are your shield gauge. It de determines how many, like, hits you can, you know, easily block with your shield before Which, you have to get boom. more. Which I'm convinced they, is an element they brought from Sonic the Fighters of all things, because that game had a, a similar barrier system where you could hold, you could basically guard yourself with these barriers, but they don't last forever. Mm -hmm. So, other than that, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Oh, and as you're seeing here, uh, nighttime stages are also the prime spot to collect a lot of medallions. Since, yeah, if we hadn't already addressed that, the way this game works is under a. Um, a medallion level system. Uh, various stages, the further we go into the game, are going to require your day and night levels to be at certain ranks. I think they both max out around like level 8. And uh, the only way to rank up your day or night level is to have these medallions that you collect throughout the level. You know, to, and from there, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Sun medallions level up here, day level, moons this. And as you're seeing from our little totals in the lower right there, whenever we show it off again, you can usually find more moon medals during the day and more day medals during the night. Um, you do How's not need to collect all of them. Is that? What was that, Chase? How's that for an oxymoron? You get you get um you get more you get more moon medals during the day and more more day to sun medals during the night. Oh, you're They're right. Hiding. They're hiding and they'll never tell. Yeah. Um, but yes. Uh, other than that, um. You for, fortunately, you do not need to collect every single medallion. Thank God, God forbid! Man. God forbid you had to. It'd literally be the Rayman One problem all over again. Yeah. But as you're going to soon see, I am going to have to collect like at least like over a hundred. Oh, actually, in total, we're going to need like two hundred. Uh, over a hundred of the day medals and at least eighty or so of the moon medals. So that's something I always found. That. That's something I find a little bollocks is the fact that you they they make they require you to get more get more sun medals to beat the game than uh, moon medals. Careful! Yeah. And you know what, just to talk about it real quick, that's one of the reasons why I kind of personally prefer the Wii version of the game is because in both the day and night stages, well, at least the day stages, I don't know if it's the same with the night stages, stages as opposed to just trying to find the emblems hidden somewhere in the levels, you instead reward them based on how you complete the level. Like, you get a medal for how fast you complete it, you get a medal for how big a combo you do, and so on and so forth. I, feel, I thought the Actually, I thought the, like the moot medals in that that game were tied to your rank. Well, like that's what I meant. S rank, A rank. Yeah, and that's B what rank that's or... what well, he in the, was okay, saying. It's, it's tied, in the, yeah, that's basically the thing. It's like it's awarded to you depending on how well you complete the level, which I think is how they should have handled. I mean, yeah, I'll agree with that. With that, just because it's it, it, it's a lot more immediate. Yeah, and I think so, they do the same thing for the night stages. I'm not sure, but it, it's been a while. But continue. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was saying that, well, 
I want to say this is the first time we've had Sea of the Arm for a big Sonic game like this. Yeah, like, the only other and... time we've had her on board is with Battle, and well, some people would argue that's probably not the best first impression she should have, I enjoyed but I guess... I enjoyed Battle, but, um... Guess it, guess it come, guess no other way of getting around. I am curious to ask what her, like, opinion of it is, especially since she's currently been joining your... Uh, Tangle and Whisper comic. Seely, what has been Poor your opinion Logan, of Sonic you missed so far? A sun metal. I'm getting it. Give him time, no, he I'm just not. wanted to open the door first. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> anyway, Seely. No, okay, I, I really did just, I really did just miss that, my bad. Whatever, we'll be fine. Continue. Um, I, I lost track of what I was gonna say. Uh, how, how you came, how, how you came to, like, really look more into Sonic and or your experiences with the, like, world of it now that you started, like, dubbing some Sonic stuff. To be honest, I don't really know how to explain it. Steve got me into it. Well, so yeah, basically, well, basically the same the same argument you can, you can have for the Mega Man series. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I definitely but, am looking forward to, like, showing her more of mm. both of them because she seems to be enjoying it so far. Uh, on, let me look at if my only I knew, list. if only I knew how to do what that, what Mario can while on these walls. Oh, you can do a show clocking, or a token, or a flying uh, double oh. punch. A, a I just remembered. I gotta do show that. Show, 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 show. Yeah, do That's the what now? Do the one thing with Yay. Oh, oh ow. yeah. Ow. Okay. Ow. I guess, that's I mean, gonna hurt. I mean, that's Wait. um, that's certainly. I never would have thought to have done that, but honestly, that does save on time because what you're, how you're supposed to really do that is you're supposed to grab a uh, box and uh, take it over there and use it as a platform. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, gosh. I, wow. I'm glad I didn't do that. I would have, have kept yeah. you guys here all night. Actually, okay. Uh, first off, it took me a second to realize where it's like, oh, that thing with tails. Yeah, well, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that like a little later. Yeah. So long as you're having fun and you don't feel like uncomfortable about... We should talk about this. It's nothing bad. It's just a parody series with some questionable writing and well, stuff. Well, I want. I want. I don't world. think I should. Honestly, it might not be a good idea to really talk about it here on the off chance. I'm not gonna. Of, we don't know. For all we know, it might be cast to someone else. But I do know they do really like her tales. That's good. <laughs> just in that exact moment, I. I'm sorry. The only reason why I was saying that is because in that exact moment, I realized me saying out loud. As long as you are having fun and you're not too offended, I was like. I should really clarify what this is before anybody else gets any other opinions of what they think <laughs> I'm talking it, it, about. It's a, but yeah, yeah he, he has it right. It, it's a parody series. That's it. That's all I'll say for now. I, I've i been really more engaged. This game's story is fine. Generations is, again, the, most of my experiences with games and Sonic games, the stories <laughs> in Sonic <laughs> games has been pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. Beat the bad guy. I've never really seen too much complexity beyond that. So, oh cool, you can also find these little you can also find these little power-ups. Like this one I guess enhances the power of my claw attacks or something like that or just increases my attack period. But okay, I'll find I... little yeah. goodies like that. Honestly, I was going to say I don't Oh, sorry. I was going to say first, I thought that was like an accessory, like an attachment to like a um, what, what's it called? It really goes sh well with my eyes. I, no, no, I thought it was an attachment to like a shaver. Oh, okay. Honestly, to me, it, <laughs> a beer trimmer, a beer trimmer. That's what I was thinking me, of. To me, it looked gotcha. like a flute. Careful. Yeah, this I, I don't. Just, this I, I don't care for. I, uh, yeah, these 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 parts are never mind, never fun for me. I'm so sorry. Oh, just the camera is never. Yeah, Gosh. just do that. It's faster. Yeah, it, it's it's faster and it's a little more stress free. Whoop. Or oh, except when you do that. Mind. And yes, I will. Oh jeez. And, and okay, yeah, I'll just do this. And yeah, I'll, I also will talk. I also will agree with Game Grumps in that I think. I feel I really feel bad for Jason, whoever was in the voice recording booth with him. Oh like, yeah, he really sound like he poured his heart out into that screen. Oh yeah, just like yeah, because Jason voices both forms of Sonic, and I would not be surprised if he ended up getting like some form of strip at the end of recording for Unleashed. <laughs> Uh, between that, between sh between that, between his like version of Shadow, like the dude's like throat, I. I... Well, Shadow, I Plenty don't imagine hour. being that taxing on his throat. Yeah, when Shadow, Shadow, Shadow throat. doesn't. Shadow doesn't Did you really say do. say strap throat? No, no, she shouts though. But I'm saying I care for his throat. Anyway, continue. <laughs> no, James not you, I... Steve. Well, no, he said strain his throat. Oh, I thought you said strap throat. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Throat. I don't even know where this is going anymore. No, Point it's okay. being, we, 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 we applaud oh. this guy for his vocal energy. 
It's, it's someone gave him a lost age. And I remembered, I was talking yeah. about the story and that, like, the game stories have typically been pretty, like, straightforward. I'm gonna try and get that medallion. But... <laughs> I will get this dang, dang coin in it or so help me! Honestly, Logan, I would argue that it's, like... Like, it's kind of funny, because I see a lot of people, like, go back and forth about it. It's like, you're right in that, like, a lot of Sonic games don't usually have, like, particularly complex plots. I think it's probably for the best, because anytime they try to go for anything, like, too complex, it's an instance of, the franchise isn't really meant for plots, like, this convoluted. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, though, I mean, I'll give, I'll give credit where it's due. Like, I mean, aside from that stuff, like, maybe when they try to try to establish some sort of, some bit of lore, like, you know, how apparently it's been confirmed that the whole Echidna tribe shit has actually been something they've been hinting at since the very first fucking game, except it was only something that was only hint alluded to in, like, the original Japanese script. Huh. I like, and I was gonna say, okay, we're getting on to our, our final encounter, finally. Oh, yeah. Uh, here I, here I was, we go! I was gonna say, I also liked hey, the, uh, as, as, as much as I like as much as I like the uh, simplistic stories of the games, I really have been. Ooh, ow! ow. I, I really have been enjoying my time with the. Uh, oh jeez, my time with the Archie com the Archie comics, and now looking at the uh, new. Uh, oof. IDW. IDW. Ow! Ow! Jeez. Oh. Right. Come on. Okay, I'm sorry. Wipe out. I'm just imagining like you trying to talk about Archie and IDW, but every time you just keep getting interrupted, it's just the monster going into hack. <laughs> no, he's fine. He's fine. No. Now that I stop and think about it, has the fuck is the metal has the metal virus arc oh. ended yet? Um, no. not at the time of us recording, not yet. Jeez. Like how long's that thing? Been, how's that? How long's that storyline been going on for now? Um, it definitely is like even compared to like some of the Archie lines. Like I think the only other storyline Ian wrote that is about as long is Iron Dominion, and I think that was like twelve issues. Oh I yeah, you're right, it was! Like, that was one of my favorite I, issues. I love to imagine what's happening is that it was like Sonic Team and Sega said, Alright, I like to imagine what happens is that Sega and Sonic Team said, Alright, we will pay you to make we will pay you to make a single con a, a single Sonic comic arc. And to which Ian was like, You got it, and just immediately made plans. Make comic arc last seventy Woo. issues. Uh, he's not that shameless. Even though people insist he is, but that's not true. No, it's not. So it, you may have noticed, like all the go little gold, those little gold trinkets we've been buying around. Those are cha those are basically this game's. Like, I think they call them chaos drives in this game, or chaos. It's chaos something. Basically, they're your experience points, and yeah. for the most part, you want to use that use that stuff on the warehog. Yep. So mm -hmm. I'll be using that to absolutely increase his life and also increase combat, because that's how you unlock different uh, attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mileage will and your mileage will vary with it. And I'll try to also put some into ring energy because I do want to be able to get through levels faster and they're defeated. But boof. Hey, Tails. <laughs> Long time no see! <laughs> just the way he says that, just, hey, Tails. <laughs> you want to be delighted? <laughs> oh my god! You want to play cheese and crackers? <laughs> but yeah, this is Tails, this old voice actor. Shoot. Yeah. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Hey, Chip. Want some chocolate? Where, where'd you pull, Chip? Where'd you pull that out of? Out yes. of my ass, apparently. Chip, you, <laughs> Chip, I've been with you this entire time. We never even bought chocolate. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. Uh, I kept it secret. Let's leave it at that. Oh yeah, I guess we should, since this is also our first time seeing him. This little guy, Chip. He is a little critter that Sonic met. Apparently, after Sonic had his whole thing with Eggman the Tournament to the Werehog, he flew all the way down to Earth and apparently landed on top of this poor little fella. And he apparently has amnesia. And Sonic, out of guilt because he thinks he's the one that gave him his amnesia, is helping oh Chip explore the world to find I, out who he is. I'm so terribly sorry. The moment you said all that, it's just right when, when Chip is just floating around like that, like he's swimming. It's like, so Sonic landed on him, and, well, he's been nutters ever since. <laughs> he's been, he, he, he's needed some help for a while. Yeah. We've, uh, we're, we're By the way, real talk, him. real talk, I'm surprised that Tails still has the Tornado 1 after everything that had happened in SA1. Nostalgia. Yeah. Ho! Let's go! And then I mean, Chip I'll take it. And, and then Chip gets flung off the base. <laughs> well, no, the, it's like... No, Chip has that same magical power that Sonic has, where he can always stay on the wing of the plane and never fall off. 
Actually, it's Magnus. funny you bring that up, though, because this time they actually give a proper justification as to how Sonic can actually ha hang on. There's actually a little piece of something there he can hold on to. Well, in this game, yes, I'm talking about the other games. Oh, well, well, yeah, in the other games, he's just a magnet boots. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. There are, unfortunately, there are only two levels like this in the game. It's basically a dumber version, not dumber, a dumbed-down version of, of Dragoon. Well, yeah, basically, uh, yes. it's, it's like, you remember those um, those levels in Sonic Adventure 1? It's basically that. Well, that's My, it, minus down minus any to... sort of maneuverability aside from, well, it's literally just Simon Says. Yeah. Right. Like I said, yeah. it's dumbed down from that because you don't even have to aim and shoot anymore. Literally... This is just gonna be you watching me. You just push the button as it gets near, and you're you're good. Yeah. And, this is, and then the Wii version, they pretty much got rid of this just because it is kind of a time waste. Kind of. Oh, but I mean, it's a shame because I mean, I love the music the music they put in this game, and I mean, just the set piece in general looks really cool. It's just, it's literally just, it's literally just um. Quick time event. Yeah, quick yeah. time event. The the stage. Uh, oh, also, if my shield ever... Oh, so, also, if, I think it's either my... I don't think it's my shield. I think it's my energy. You'll, you're you almost never going to run out of, like, energy. You're never going to run out of bullets. But if you're ever running low after making a lot of attacks, just uh, quickly press the L1 and mm. R1 button back Ooh. and forth to kind of boost up energy. Okay. So, all oh, already help me. <laughs> Tail, slow Wait. down. I know it's weird for me to say, but still. I want to get there, but I want to get there alive. <laughs> I think what I find kind of funny is you that Tails You should have seatbelt! There is no seatbelt on this thing, Tails! But, um, excuses, anyway. Excuses, excuses. I was about to, yeah, I just, I, I, was, I almost forgot. What was, I still find it, again, I think, I find it funny they bring back the Tornado 1 for this game. And another thing is, he actually modified it so it has the capabilities of the Tornado 2. Because we're, because it has battle mode of all things. Hey. So weird looking back on it. It's like, I mean... I don't know. It's 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 a weird little nitpick. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Oh, hey Tails, uh, by the way, Tails, what you whatever you what did you ever do with the cyclone? What? The cyclone? What? We never but talked yeah, about that. Being I, said, and I do though. and I do still like that. I do still like what they did with that in uh. Was that was it that or was it the tornado two that they riffed on in generations? Um, I don't remember them riffing off any of the planes in Generations. Yeah, I don't in think in the they the Japanese did. Ver In the Japanese version, there's some bit where Oh, I remember of... where it's like, why is... It, if you fly the plane, why does it have Sonic's name on it? No, it was something oh, like that. It was like, right. it was... What it was is, like, in the English version, it was Tails asking Classic... Classic Tails asking Tails, like, where does Sonic keep all those rings anyway? Oh, yeah. In the original, it was basically Classic Tails saying, why did you add all this crap to the plane? And, he's, and Tails is like... Yeah, I kind of did go a little overboard. Oh, that's right. The places. thing I had Sealy read out one time. <laughs> right. What? Uh, it, it's something that I had you read out a couple days ago. Anyway, uh, actually, speaking of Tails, um, I hope you get the most out of this because as far as the game goes, this is probably the most Tails gets in this game. Which I'm not going to mince words. Considering the whole theme of this game literally being a great grand world tour... I'm not sure how to feel about that, because, you know, I think it would be nice for Tails to join on join in the fun, and just Ooh. as much as Sonic and Chip are. Ooh, what's this? What is that thing? <laughs> it's, um... The Egg Cauldron. Oh, hello, Orbot 0 0.1. You'll oh, see yeah, yeah. Basically. this is our first introduction to Orbot. Like Get a load of that sass machine. That's rocket. But again, it's nothing is at all different. Just again, just shoot stuff, and whenever you get a chance to unleash a lot of firepower, just go for it. Pretty much. The game plays itself at this, but not you're fine. So, and, and yeah, we'll be seeing. Yeah, you're fine. And yeah, this game will introduce Orbot. We promise the game's actually more interesting than this, Sealy. <laughs> it really is. Like, the daytime stages go, like, they just crank things up to 11, like, so much quicker in those. Which, well, hopefully, she'll get, a, she'll, get the, she'll get first glimpses of in the next... Oh, wait a minute, I just realized we're in Pro, and I can do that next part. My bad. No. Oh, that's right, yeah, because uh, we actually don't get to a daytime stage for a little while. Uh, so, uh, what uh, time I did mention, I was going to mention earlier, is every stage in the Sonic game, there, there are multiple acts, but... Ow. Ow. But there are multiple acts in each area, but there's really only two. One daytime and one nighttime you super have to do. Right. Everything else is optional. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it's honestly pretty apparent once you actually do try those ult those other acts because a lot of them do kind of feel like a throwaway. I almost thought those were the stages you guys were talking about that were repurposed for Unleashed because they're like they're supposed to be much smaller and more bite-sized like bits of content. Not really. Okay. Do, do. Well, but yeah, it, we're we're almost done with this with this you know half shell of an egg shell. It is possible Hash to re <laughs> it is possible to replay these if you want to get a better grade, but you can't get any medallions from them, so why bother? And that yeah. is that is a good reason why you want to do the uh, optional axe, just in case if you want to fill out and get more uh, medallions, you may have like been a few short. Assuming they're open in the first place, because again, those those are also tied to the uh, system. There. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> He's just. He's just losing altitude <laughs> slowly and oh, I... steadily. Do, do, do. And, and that's what I like to call a sunny side do. down. Oh, and with that, that, here we are in the wonderful world of Spagonia. As soon as we get through these clouds. <laughs> there, Spagonia. Hey, Tails. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of freaking Ducktails. Like, yeah, there it is. All oh, yeah, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I Woo! forgot to put on the landing gear. Double damn it, Tails. Again? <laughs> we told you not to do that. <laughs> you think you would have learned after the first time, but no. But, but yeah. uh, on that note, folks, uh, see you all for the next part where we get our first taste of Europe land. Europe land. Where did we get to the ride? Ciao.